Veterans Affairs. That and other news brings us to the analysis of Shields and Brooks. Our syndicated columnist Mark Shields and New York Times columnist David Brooks. Gentlemen, more turnover. This time it was the head of the Veterans Affairs Department, uh, David. Uh, it looked as if he and the president were getting along well, but then there was a dispute over how fast they should privatize what the Veterans Affairs, what the VA does. And then there were questions about a trip he took to Europe with his wife last week, but he's out. Yeah, can you imagine working at a place where every week somebody goes, and this was a quiet week, but they still lost the cabinet member, uh, and it just uh, speaks to how little uh, sense of uh, camaraderie and trust there is, because you never know who's going to be there day to day, and no assurance that so-and-so is staying is a real assurance. I guess, to me, the most interesting thing is the replacement with Rear Admiral Jackson, and that's, that's um, sort of part of the key belief of populism, which Donald Trump, I guess, stands for, is that experience is more corrupting than it is educational. 